Uh, now, there are a few writers who know all too well about how hard it is to get a show to New York. And to tell us a little bit more about that process, please welcome to the stage accompanist Dennis Cordell and the Tony Award winning lyricist and director, Mr. Richard Maltby Jr. <laughs> that I'm carrying my lyrics. Um, last time I was here, I attempted to go off book. <laughs> it was not a success. I'm just gonna accept the fact that I have to read. Anyway, this is um, a, a song from a show called Waterfall. That, uh, in fact, we just, just finished uh, producing in, in Bangkok. We took it out of town. <laughs> but it, it's a gorgeous theater and uh, a, a really fantastic, uh, a complete production. It's, um, it's set in um, Bangkok and in Tokyo. And it is about uh, um, an American woman who uh, comes to, to Bangkok and falls in love with a young man. Um, but it is, uh, so it's a love story, but it is also um, uh, a story about um, uh, finding your place in the world and, and uh, your, your national, sort of your I cultural identity, uh, it, it, it turns out. Uh, the, the, uh, the young man is obsessed with America. He wants to be American. He wants to live in America. Um, he meets a... a a Japanese American woman who tells him that it is, uh, she was actually born in America, but was way too American for her Japanese parents and way too uh, Japanese for her school chums. And, and so she found that she didn't really belong anywhere until she moved to uh, Tokyo, where she had a dance club and was, for the first time in her life, accepted as an American. So. Uh, those are the, the 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 issues involved, and she is trying to tell her this her friend, this young guy, um, that his uh, fantasy of uh, going to America is just exactly that. <laughs> She's all you want, a dream come true, ravishing and rich. America will break your heart. She draws you in, she sings to you, then it's bait and switch. America will break your heart. Her message, well, it thrills you, offering freedom an ideal, it's so moving, it's lovely, it's not real. It's hard when someone tells you that your whole life has no worth in this vast, expansive, open, and most majestic place on earth. America, America will break your heart. Hey, it's not a secret. They put it in writing. The Immigration Act of 1917, it says it. America will not admit epileptics, alcoholics, idiots, mental defectives, homosexuals, polygamists, anarchists, and Asians. Just imagine coming to Ellis Island. Sorry to be picky, but we do not want a sickie, either physical or mental. We do not want you here. Did you want a visa? Please, our epileptic seizure really isn't incidental. We do not want you here. And if you're a person who necks with somebody of your own sex, we'll treat you like a traitor, sent you packing and a freighter across the ocean or equator, and we won't be gentle. Someone who arrives along with six or seven wives is going to find there isn't parking on our shores. 
Yes, it isn't pretty. It's a pity you're an idiot, but we don't want you darkening our doors. And if your skin is yellow, hell, you're one unlucky fellow. Well, oh, we are really sorry that you've fallen for old glory, but the story is we're sorry, but you're oriental. Come if you are tired. Come if you are poor. If you're white and Christian, hey, that's a plus for sure. No one here is pandering to people talking Mandarin. Something is unholy in a person who's Mongolian. We will never let an Indonesian or Tibetan in. None of you are getting in. She lures you. It's seductive. And you ache so to respond. Then you wake up and notice you've been con. It's hard to be not welcome in the country of your birth in this most appealing generous and perfect place on earth america america god shed some grace on me america will break your heart Richard and Dennis, thank you so much. Isn't it, what a legend. Isn't it special to hear it from the writer themselves? You know what I mean? Yes. Richard, thank you for sharing that. Absolutely, thank you.